you need to employ teachers not only permanent and, and pensionable, not on contracts. Put a lot of money in education. And then you're also underpaying the teachers and overtaxing them. This itself has got consequences in terms of lowering the standards of education in our country. So this can need to put more money in education. And then also ensure that there's no there's transparency and there's no reading even in education. We have a situation where school children have to go to court to demand to be told the, the proper result that they received in an examination. Something is terribly wrong. Something is terribly wrong. This government has paid Kenyans in bringing all other departments. Because education is the key. We say that we have fundamental human rights in our country. Fundamental rights. The right to life. The right to good health. The right to food. The right to shelter. The right to quality education. That is why we said in our manifesto that when the I, as the mayor government comes to power, we will ensure that all our children from nursery to primary, secondary to university will go to education, to school without paying any fees. And we knew where the money was going to come from. And we really meant it. But now we have a crisis. The grand power but they don't know what to do with that power. No, they don't know what to do with education. We are now going to begin uh, open schools next month, in a few days' time. There's going to be chaos. You don't know how much fees the children are going to be, be, be asked to pay. You don't know primary, secondary, you have got 100% transition. You don't know, university, you're being told some students will pay, some will, some will, 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 will pay nothing, some will pay something, some will pay full, full fees. No, you know, where is the heresy? How are you going to know that this child comes from a, from a family where the parents are able and these other ones are not able? Children are treated equally in the United States, in the UK, all over the world, equally. Because you don't know how to do means tests. How are you going to be, to be able to look for parents and know these parents are earning money, these parents are able, and so on. We may be earning a salary, but all the salary is committed. So you cannot be saying that because the parents are earning salary, the students must pay fees. It is something that is supposed to be, is going to be very arbitrary and there is going to be chaos. And chaos is the name of this government, this is called uh, uh, Kenya Christian. Because they lie all the times. They lie all the times. Kenya Christian lies all the times. The church didn't come through peace, it was through sacrifice. You must make sure that you don't misbehave. Man has made it man. In the country called Kenya, we are fighting for a better future. We are fighting so that our men and women, our young men and women, should find a prosperous nation that they can be proud of. We want a nation where our women and children will feel safe and secure. We want a nation and a county called Siaya where we can produce jobs for the young people. This is not what you promised the Republic of Kenya. You cannot lie to the people. You cannot promise oranges and you're giving people bitter pill. That cannot work in the Republic of Kenya. I want to appeal to all of us to observe some restraint. Omer Wijo. Hore Urkoro. I will come to come here in Ugenia at the earliest opportunity.
ensure that all this nonsense comes to an end. William Ruto and his rogue regime are the cause of our problems. And therefore, as we condemn William Ruto, we must condemn his acolytes. We must condemn his psychophants. We, we must condemn his agents who are amidst us. Okaman, we are going through terrible economic times as a result of misrule. Marwan William Ruto and his rogue regime. I am sure those who are working here, those who are in the working class, including teachers, you are going through hardship, especially the pretty taxation and legis that have made you paupers in your country. I am sure one day we would have fought hard against this so-called housing levy that is killing teachers. I am very sure. I am very sure. And therefore, as we bury him, we must remind ourselves that the time has now come for us to combine forces. All the, all the progressive forces must come together. One, you lack another. Mm -hmm. Proud of this old man who is lying here. <laughs> Mababa Ricky J. 